stresses in rigid pavement stresses in rigid pavement <coughs> see road pavement is uh, classified into three regions three regions that is interior interior region and edge region and corner region corner region so stresses are due to three different uh, phenomena phenomenon actually first one is wheel load stresses wheel load stresses wheel load stress in that first stress at interior region equal to 0.316p divided by h square into 4 log base 10 L by B plus 1.069 edge region stress at edge region equal to 0.572 P by H square 4 log L by B plus point three five nine corner region stress is three p by h square one minus a root two by l whole to the power of point six here h is equal to slab thickness L equal to radius of relative stiffness radius of relative stiffness B equal to radius of resisting section radius of resisting section and A equal to radius of the wheel load distribution radius of wheel load distribution here due to wheel load interior and edge slab will bend like this because pressure from bottom is like this and central wheel load it is like this means so interior and interior and edge regions stresses are bottom tends because of concave concave up bottom it is convex that's why it is stretch the layers that means tensile bottom tensile stress and top compressive stress will develop compressive stress will develop but in case of corner region corner region it bends like this because of wheel load bending will be like this then here bottom compression 
bottom compressive stress top tensile stress will develop this is, this is due to wheel load then we will see temperature stresses temperature stresses are two types one is warping stress and uh, number two is frictional stress so number two warping stress we will see warping stress warping stress this is due to daily variation of temperature daily variation of temperature the slab the due to variation of temperature due to variation of temperature the slab tries to warp up tries to warp tries to warp but it is not possible it is not possible that is it cannot bend it cannot warp because of heavy weight of slab heavy weight of slab hence expansions are prevented at higher temperature side higher temperature side higher temperature side and compressive stress will produce compressive stress will produce compressive stress will produce daytime top temperature is more top temperature is more from this you can understand compression at top and tensile at bottom tensile at bottom night time if you see bottom temperature is more bottom temperature is more from that compression at bottom tensile at top then third category is frictional stress frictional stress this is due to this is due to seasonal variation of temperature seasonal variation of temperature seasonal variation of temperature in summer season summer season 
the slab tries to expand expand and tries to move away tries to move away but frictional force frictional force resist this moment moment and compressive stress will produce stress will produce that is like this in summer it tries to move like this but bottom frictional stress is like this frictional stress is like this it is frictional stress equal to frictional force frictional force is uh, sigma f frictional stress equal to sigma f equal to frictional force that is f into weight weight is suppose uh, length of expansion joint is l if length of expansion joint is l then it is l by 2 l by 2 so l by 2 into width b into thickness h so this is the into gamma c so l by 2 bh is volume into gamma c then it is weight into f it is frictional force divided by bh is the stress actually that is f into l by 2 into gamma c f into l by 2 into gamma c that is the frictional stress that is compressive nature compressive in nature in summer similarly it is tensile in winter this force is tensile in winter season sir this stress is it is tensile in winter winter season then combination of stresses critical combination of stresses critical combination of stresses first summer midday
summer midday edge region edge bottom is the critical that means load stress is tensile critical stress equal to load stress at edge plus and daytime means bottom it is tensile stress because uh, top tries to expand but expansion will be prevented that, that's why compressive stress at top then tensile stress at bottom so temperature stress at the edge and summer means compressive stress due to frictional force frictional stress is some is compressive that means that means minus sigma f is the critical combination similarly winter midday winter midday edge bottom critical stress equal to load stress plus warping stress plus winter means plus frictional stress and third one midnights midnights of any season midnights corner region corner region bottom corner region sorry it is top corner region at top corner top see load stress will be load stress will be load stress at corner is load stress at corner is so here uh, critical critical stress critical corner load stress at top is tensile plus temperature stress at corner because midnight means bottom compressive top tension that means tension is critical that is tension is i mean concrete is weak in tension that's why we are taking this note here no frictional stress no frictional stress will develop stress will develop at corner region these are the critical combination of stresses in rigid pavement